Pat, usual setting, usual time, different format this time. Obviously, uh, you announced that you're going to be leaving the club. For the benefit of our viewers here on Hibernian TV and Hibs fans everywhere, what was the reasoning behind that decision? I just think it's the right time. I think, um, you know, I was disappointed with, with the performance last weekend. Um, obviously disappointed with the result midweek. And I just think it's the right time. I think it's the, 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 the club... The squad is in a good position. It's you know, like I said, we're, we're not too far off the top of the table. We're not too far off the other end of it either. But I think there's there's a lot of positives with the club, and um, I think you know, if I take myself out of the equation, there's probably a lot of negativity towards me out there at the moment. So I think it, it, the benefit of, of me stepping aside and hopefully someone else coming in and pushing it on is is, is huge. And that's the decision I've, I've come to. It's it's been very difficult, you know, because I've loved working here, and the football club means a lot to me now. Um, but. I think it's the right thing to do and the right decision at this time is for someone else to come in and take it forward. Well, see, we joked just before the last interview that you were coming up for your two-year anniversary yeah. and, and that was a rarity in, in modern football and, and hey presto, now you, you part in company with the club. When did you reach that decision? Um, probably just over the last 24 hours but been thinking about it probably since last weekend to be honest. You know, so. Uh, but like I said, it's a difficult decision. It's not something I did lightly. It's... Uh, it's it, it is it is a great club that I've really enjoyed working with, and but I firmly believe that there's a real good feeling about the place at the moment in, in relation to working with within the club, the training ground, the ground, the staff we have, the players we have. I think it's 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 a good place to work, and I'm I'm hoping that someone comes in and gets that feel good factor and, and kicks it on. Um, the last thing I want to do is leave it in, in a position that we found it in, to be honest, and I think we're in a real good position now that, that it can move forward. Just reviewing your time here, obviously progress was made when you, you joined. Obviously the team was involved in a relegation fight and we have just narrowly missed out on a top six place, two cup finals. How frustrating was it though that the big games, it just it just didn't click into place for the, the two cup finals in, in Europe? Yeah, I think if, if we're looking at the bigger games, probably the two we won that, that really mattered were, were probably Dunfermline and Hearts in the cup last year. The two cup finals and the European games were very disappointing. Um but that's you have. I suppose you get results that you know. Whatever club you manage, you'll have you know ones that are stand out, ones that you get very disappointed about. You know. So, but okay, there's 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 great memories. There's some hard memories as well. But that's part and parcel of the game. I think. Just how challenging was the the, the dark times here at Hibs? Would you say looking back? Um, it was hard work. It was you know it was hard work. But that's it's it's a big football club with a lot of expectation, and I knew that coming here, and that's. You know, I don't have any problem with that. I said after the game on Wednesday, the supporters are very disappointed and I feel for them and I understand that. So, But there's been a lot of good times as well. Um, we've made a lot of changes to the club and I'm hoping they're for the better longer term. Well, so you mentioned a lot of anger and frustration following the Derby defeat. A Derby defeat amplifies everything, doesn't it? But was was that the, the straw that broke the camel's back or, or what was your kind of take on that? Had you had something in your mind thinking, well, if it, if you know results aren't going my way, then I will part company? No, I don't think that was that was you know I was disappointed with with the result uh, midweek because obviously it's it's our big rivals and this place and the semi final of cup with a real chance of getting your hands on some silverware so that was more disappointing than anything but you know well that wasn't you know I think I've probably made me mind up before that game to be honest and and I think I knew then it was probably the right thing to do. What's been the high point? What's been the highlight? Would you say of the near, nigh on two years that you've been in the, in the manager's office here at Easter Road? I think getting a job initially was a real high point for me. You know, I was very proud and you know, I felt really privileged. Um results wise and football wise, you know, we've had some decent days. Um, we had some dark days at Hamden, but we had two good days there as well. Uh, the Falkirk game I think will live in the memory because of the madness of it and, and, and the way it finished. It looked like it was it was all over at half time and then we, we, we the players got us into into a fantastic position to win it. Um Aberdeen the year before in the semi final winning after the game, to see the, the Hibs fans singing, you know, Sunshine and Leith was was an experience that I hadn't witnessed before. So that was that was good. Beating Hearts here in the in the cup last year was 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 fantastic. You know, there's been a lot of good. There's been a lot of disappointments, but there's been a lot of, of positives as well. And there's huge positives about this club. There's too much negativity, you know, aimed at the club. And there's there's massive positives. And I'm hoping taking me out of the line helps in that regard. And and you know, we we get what we deserve. How draining was it sometimes, especially because you showed a battling spirit to keep fighting back after quite huge setbacks. You mentioned that the cup final and then obviously Malmo to, to keep on plugging away and, and keep on persevering. How draining was that? 
Yeah, it's hard work. It's, it's it is hard work. You know, I think I think that the players deserve huge credit for this season, particularly because you know we got battered in Europe and then we lost at Tyne Castle in a, in, a, in a derby that people expected us to win, and then we went went on a fantastic run. Had the ground out results by no means where we playing champagne football or anything, but we ground out results, and that's difficult to do when you're coming off the back of of, of a heavy defeat and a, a loss in the derby. You know, so um, but. I think Wednesday night for the first half an hour, I really enjoyed the game. I thought we played some brilliant football as well. So, like I said, there's, there is a lot of positives, but there's also negatives that, that, that I feel it's the right time now. It's the right time for for someone to come in where, you know, when I came into the club, I was, wasn't in a great place. And, you know, I think at the moment it's it's a good squad. It's a, it's a good place to work. And, you know, hopefully, I'm, I'm, I really hope that someone can come in and, and, and bring it on.